Okay, so I just wanted to record a quick uh, tutorial because I was doing a bit of design work with some friends earlier um, and I came across a problem and I had no idea how to solve it, but I found a way and so I thought I just wanted to uh, explain that. And the way, what the problem was is that I'd made something on a blank layer, I'd done a little bit of design um, and then I lost all the kind of work. I still had the layer, but I didn't have the path. We were using paths, uh, but I wanted to change the colour of that to anything that I wanted to, and I was just struggling using selective colour and all sorts of bits and pieces, and I just couldn't work it out. Uh, but I came across a solution, uh, so I thought I'd just share that. So what I'm going to do, I'm working up on a blank layer. So you can see up here, I've got my background layer that's just white, and then this is just completely blank at the moment. So if I turn off my background, uh, you can see just that, that kind of blank section. So what I'm going to do is, just with using the pen tool, uh, over here I've just got the pen, um, and I'm just going to draw a few lines. Uh, just a few kind of nice wavy lines, and this is what we're going to kind of fill in. So, there we go, we have our lines. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stroke them, as it were. So, if I just press B to go to my brush, or I can click uh, up here for the brush, um, I'm going to stroke it with the brush. So, I want to make sure that the size of my brush is okay. So, I don't want this to be kind of a super thick line that does this sort of thing. Um, I want it to be nice and thin, so I make my brush the size that I want it to do. I also want, I, I have this on, uh, which is, because I'm using a Wacom tablet, uh, this is pressure sensitive, so if I press very lightly, you get very thin, and then the harder I press, the thicker it gets, and then it kind of tails off. So if you do something very quickly, you get uh, that nice tailing uh, over here. So I'm making sure that I've got that on. Um, let's just get rid of that. And then, okay, so if I, I've, I've got my brush set to what I want it to be. And then if I just go to the pen tool, and if I right-click uh, somewhere on my path, and then I can do something called Stroke Path. I click on that, and it gives me a few options. So I want, I'm wanting to use the brush. I've just set up the brush uh, for it, but I can use all sorts of bits and pieces. I want the brush, and I want Stimulate Pressure. And what that's going to do is it's going to give tapering at the front uh, and at the end. If I don't have that on, I'll just show you what that does, that just gives you a very solid line, just like that, which might be what you want, uh, but it's not quite what I want. So what I want is, if we just do that again, so right click and go to Stroke Path and click Stimulate Pressure, and it now gives us, if we just, I'm just going up to Paths up here, um, clicking up there and just clicking off, because you can see you have that black path line uh, in the middle, and I don't really want to be able to see that, so just up here where it says path, I'm just clicking off there, and you can now see that that black line has disappeared. Um, so using that simulate pressure, I can you can see that it kind of gives a really nice tapering at each end. So that's that. So I'd made that, and it looked not too dissimilar to this, and I was quite happy with it. Um, but then they said, well, actually, can you just change the colour of it? And I thought, well, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how to change the colour of it. Um, I lost kind of, I didn't have uh, my path up here, so I couldn't just, I mean, one way of doing it, if you still have your work path here, you can just change the colour of your brush um, to, say, let's make it a hideous luminous green. Um, then you can go back to your pen and just re-stroke it. So I can just go straight path again with a brush and I've changed the colour. And that's one way. But I didn't have this anymore. I'd done a whole ton more steps. Um, so I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it that easily. But because we're working up here on a blank layer, or it's not blank anymore, it now just has those those green uh, green lines in it. Um, what you can do is if you go down uh, to the adjustments and choose uh, solid colour at the top, you choose solid colour, and what that does is it puts a solid colour over everything, which isn't ideal. But say we want a kind of a deep kind of red sort of colour. Well, all we have to do is click OK to make that, and then while holding the Alt or Option key, between, up here, between uh, the colour layer and the layer we're wanting to, wanting to affect, if we press and hold the Alt or Option key, we can click between those. And that, then, just has an effect on that layer just below it. And that's changed the colour. We can then come back and at any stage change that colour. If we just double click, uh, we can then pick whatever colour we want. We can make it white, we can make it grey, we can make it blue... We can make it every, every colour possible uh, until you're absolutely happy with the colour that you've chosen um, and then you're ready to go. And then you can come back at a later date just to change that. So I just thought I'd post that little idea because it was just a solution that I found this morning. 
Um, you have to be on a blank layer. If, for example, I didn't have that blank layer there, um, and I'd done it on this white layer, on the background layer, let me just draw a few more lines. Um, and if I straight that path with the brush, if I now try and um, add a solid colour again at the top, it does it to the whole thing. And if even if I click, because because there are pixels, there are relevant pixels, because it's on a white background, all the white counts as relevant pixels. Uh, and so that colour fill just doesn't work, because um, it fills all what it classes as relevant pixels. Um, whereas before, when you're working on a transparent layer, um, you can then change it, because it's only affecting pixels that are in there. All these black and white squares aren't actually pixels that it's using, that's just the transparency. So we can then have it working on the pixels that are there. So that's just one solution for just changing something uh, that's on a blank layer. I don't know if it'll help anyone, but it, it certainly sorted me out this morning. Awesome. If you, if you want to, please head over and like my Facebook page. You can find that at www.facebook.com forward slash macmacphotography. Um, and also just my website, macmacphotography.com. Uh, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, which you're watching this on, which is uh, which my username for that is, as always, MacMac Photography.